Welcome to Introduction to Probability. This is video lecture number 2. In the last lecture, we covered the basic concepts of probability. Here we are going in detail concepts of probability. So, we need to understand two concepts. First, what are the different conditions and what we have to do in those conditions. So, in probability, the AND condition will come means in questions it will say a blue ball and a red ball in that case we have to do the multiplication operation and in some cases it will come or in that case we have to use addition so I will explain with an example in some questions the questions will come what is the probability of getting a blue ball and a red ball which means that probability of getting blue ball and probability of getting red ball so we have to multiply probability of getting blue ball into probability of getting red ball in some cases the question will be like this what is the probability of getting red ball or probability of getting blue ball in that case we have to add the probabilities which means that probability of getting red ball plus probability of getting blue ball when we are solving problems you will understand the condition and different operations so you just remember when the condition is and you have to do the multiplication operation and when the condition is or you have to do the addition and another concept is the with replacement and without replacement I will explain with an example so consider a basket which contains a number of bowls which is in blue color red color and green color so I am taking one bowl that is one red bowl so I want to take one more bowl so I can do like this I am going to keep the bowl back then I am taking a green bowl so this is called with the replacement which means that I am taking each bowl after replacement means with replacement I will take one bowl then I will place it then I will take another bowl so this is called replacement so what will happen in replacement in each time when I am taking the total number of chances available to me is same which means that when I am taking a red bowl I have this much quantity chances that is 5 then 10 that is 14 chances so I took a red bowl so then next I am going to take a green bowl so what is what are the diff number of chances means what is the total number of chances it is again 14 why because I replaced it so in case of replacement total number of chances will be the same so this is replacement so what is meant by without replacement it is just a reverse which means that first I will take the red ball then without keeping the red ball back I will take another blue ball green ball so this is without replacement what is the peculiarity of without replacement concept in that case the total number of chances will reduce means that when I am taking the red ball I have 14 chances but after taking red ball then I am going to take the green ball but in that case there is only 13 chances because only 13 bowls remaining in the basket so the ch total number of chances re decreases in without replacement concept so in some questions it will be mentioned it is with the replacement or without replacement but in some questions it will not be mentioned in that case you should assume that it is without replacement if it is with re replacement it will be clearly mentioned in the question so I hope you understand what is with replacement and without replacement and what is the difference what will change it probability now I'm going to deal with a question so a basket contains five blue balls and three red balls and six green balls so total 14 balls if I am taking two balls randomly one after the other without replacement then what is the probability of getting one red ball and one blue ball so we will work our brain right now so there are two possibilities what is the question I am going I have a basket which contain five blue balls three red balls and six green balls and I am going to take two balls without replacement one after the other 
So what is the probability of getting one red ball and one blue ball? So the first there are two chances. The first ball is red and and you should remember the condition and then the second ball is blue. Again that is the first ball I am taking that is red then I am going to take the second ball that is blue. So the condition is red ball first and blue ball second. Okay, there is one more possibility. I can take the blue ball first. So or consider understand this or where or comes or I can take the blue ball first and red ball second. That is I will take the blue ball first then I will take the red ball. So this is without replacement. Okay, so I have the condition so I am going to find the probability so when and comes you should remember when and comes the, uh, the multiplication operation will come or comes addition then and comes then multiplication so it will be the probability of getting a red ball first means we know that there are 14 balls out of which 3 are red so the probability of getting a red ball from 14 balls are 3 by 14 then into means multiplication why in multiplication comes because it is ant then blue ball getting a blue ball probability of getting a blue ball there are 5 blue balls and the total number of balls remaining is 13 only why because it is without replacement With after taking one red ball there is only 13 balls remaining so number of chances reduced that is 13 then or means plus again blue ball first blue ball first means there are 14 balls in the basket I am taking the blue ball first blue ball 5 blue balls are there divided by 14 total number of chances is 14 into y and and getting a red ball second that is there are 3 red balls and total number of balls is reduced to 13 because I took one ball already that's the blue ball so it is 13 so I can do the calculation right now 3 into 5 that is 15 by 182 plus 15 by 182 that is 30 by 182 I can reduce it to 15 by 91 I hope you understand the concept what is the condition and what is the operation th that we have to do okay we have first we have to understand it verbally what is the condition and we have to convert it into mathematical form when the condition comes and we have to do the multiplication operation when it comes or we have to do the addition operation I hope you understand the concept so here is a question for you a basket contains five blue balls three red balls and green six green balls the same question if I am taking two balls randomly one after the other with replacement so I highlighted that with the replacement then what is the probability of getting one red ball and one blue ball it is a simple question if you understand the concept well you can answer the question very easily you can comment your answer okay so in coming lecture we will be going in detail in probability so for easy understanding we will be explaining it with practical examples and all you can subscribe for latest videos thank you for watching